What are you doing? I'm trying to make sure, is there like cabinets open behind us, bacon grease on something? Oh, there's flies. There's a fly. I, I already never, got one. I never know what's going on in the background. I'm sorry <laughs> if it's messy back there. Okay, enough with the fly. Yes. Today on Two Crazy Ketos, we're gonna show you how you could make your very own keto chow, That's not keto chow. at home using any kind of protein powder. Any powder. And any kind of sweetener you want. Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and then every Monday, we sit down on a couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're gonna find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Keto chat. This is how you make it, done and done. <laughs> No, this is a shameless plug for Caramel Macchiato. Yes. The two crazy Ketos flavor. So we love Keto Chow. We do. It's no secret. We have a lot of videos utilizing Keto Chow. We use it on a regular basis in our house. But I understand that some people like the idea of Keto Chow. Yeah. Like the fact that it's a meal replacement shake and it's quick and it's on the go and you can add your own fat. But they either A, don't like or cannot tolerate milk protein isolate, which is right. the protein that Keto Chow is using, or they don't like or cannot tolerate sucralose, yeah. which is the main sweetener in Keto Chow. So how can we help? We have a solution. It's called Keto Chow Base Powder. Yes. Now this video is not sponsored by either Keto Chow or Equip. But we do use both of these products on a regular basis. Yes, we do. So here's the thing. Equip makes a phenomenal protein powder and it uses beef protein. So Which is awesome. You don't have to deal with the whey protein isolate. Also, they are only available in three flavors of vanilla, chocolate, or strawberry, but you can kind of alter those a little bit with flavoring drops and stuff. They're using stevia as the sweetener. Right. So you're kind of not having to deal with milk protein isolate with this, and you don't necessarily have to deal with sucralose. Exactly. Here's the problem. This is a protein powder. What makes this different from Keto Chow is Keto Chow is a protein powder with all of the vitamins, the electrolytes, and the nutrients that you need. As a matter of fact, each serving is one third of everything you need for the day. So this isn't a total replacement for Keto Chow. This is a protein shake. Keto Chow is a meal replacement shake. So we need to combine forces. We're gonna merge them. Yep. So Chris over at Keto Chow has this product called the base powder. What is this? This is all of the electrolytes, the vitamins and the nutrients that are in Keto Chow. So if you took a bag of milk protein isolate and you just took these vitamins out, you'd have a protein powder with no vitamins. They add this in and voila. You have Keto Chow. Does this mean that Chris is the ace of base? <laughs> that what happens here? He is the ace of base, folks. It's official. Okay, so we have actually made a video on this once before, but the last time we made this video, we used some nonsense protein powder that we picked up at the store, and honestly, it wasn't very good. No. And also, nobody goes back and looks at our old videos. Right. So, You're pretty cringy. So we're gonna show you to be fair. how to use base powder, okay? And it, it is actually very simple. As a matter of fact, I talked to Chris, like, why did they come up with this? And they actually didn't come up with this originally so that you could use any protein powder. They came up with it for people who are, like, over in Europe who want Keto Chow, but it's expensive to ship the big bag of protein powder, oh, nice. and that is the bulk of Keto yeah. Chow. So instead he can send them this and let them make their own because that's the that. most difficult part. I mean, even Keto Chow, the original recipe is still open source and available on the Keto Chow website. You can literally go buy all of the vitamins and everything the way Chris Bear, the owner of Keto Chow did when he first developed it. 
and make it your own. Now he's been able to modify things a little bit because he can get bigger quantities, but that's what this is. It is doing all of the shopping for the vitamins and the electrolytes that you need to make your own meal replacement drink. I love that Keto Chow is all about supporting people in their health goals, yep. no matter what they're trying to create. Yep. And we're about that too, yep. so let's help. So uh, I don't remember the price of this. However, there is a link for it down below in the description. If you use our link, you will get 10% off your entire purchase over there at Keto Chow. And uh, that includes if you want just the regular meals like caramel macchiato. Caramel macchiato. Or the electrolyte drops. We also have a link down below for Equip. Now you don't have to use Equip. You can use any protein any powder protein. you want with the base powder. We just really like Equip because it's a good quality protein. The ingredients are really good and it tastes really good. But everybody has their favorite. So let's go over what we need to actually make our own keto chow. Obviously, we need a protein powder. And again, you can use any protein powder you want. You don't have to use Equip. No. Uh, now, I have tried this with pea protein. It's possible. It's just kind of gritty. It, yeah, it's like gritty. But maybe you know of a better pea protein that's low in carbs than I do. Uh, I just know that Equip really works and it's tasty. But any protein powder you want. Then obviously you need base powder, okay? And again, link is down below for that. We're gonna make this in a Vitamix. That's how we make most of our keto chow. You can make it in a blender bottle if you're using certain fat sources. Because from here, you're pretty much gonna do everything that you would do to make regular keto chow. So we need a fat source. So we're gonna use butter. We like butter. But you can use heavy whipping cream. You can use avocado oil. Again, if you're gonna use butter, you have to do it in a blender. It's not gonna work if you try to make it in a blender bottle. It just gets really chunky. Chunky. Okay. So we're gonna use three tablespoons of butter. And again, you're gonna use as much or as little as you want to get the calories that you want. Uh, doing it this way is gonna make the shake about 450 calories somewhere around there. But it's a there. meal replacement. But it is our meal replacement. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in one scoop of our protein powder. So this is strawberry equip, and uh, this is 110 calories for a serving. Now, technically you should be measuring this out per gram. I'm lazy, okay? Right. So I'm not gonna we do that. Scoop. We're just gonna use a scoop, and we're gonna go one scoop of the base powder. From there, we're gonna add in our warm water. It's again, however much you want. We usually go all the way to the top, but we're making it the right way for this <laughs> video. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. We like volume. And then we're just gonna go ahead and mix this up real quickly off camera. I completely forgot one of the ingredients. Is it a sweetener of some sort? We need to add a sweetener. So here's what you can use from sweetener. Lots of options. You can use stevia. You can use a flavor stevia. So for example, this is English toffee. Not gonna go so well with strawberry. Yeah, I don't think with strawberry it will work. You could use liquid monk fruit, which I don't have any. Yeah, we're really good with snickerdoodle. You can use this powdered monk fruit from Lakanto. Just be aware, it's like Potent. A, a pin tip, like yeah. a tiny amount. Or if, again, sucralose doesn't bother you, you can use liquid sucralose. So any kind of sweetener you want, I actually like liquid sucralose, and we're gonna put in like three drops. And believe me, those that's three plenty. drops, that's enough. That's the equivalent of like six teaspoons of sugar. So that's more than enough. Now we're gonna go ahead and mix it up with the sweetener in it. Okay, so Looks now like what we're gonna do, towel. I find when you're not using keto chow, now even keto chow, they say that you do need to um, like let it sit for at least 15 to 30 minutes to really let the flavors develop. Personally, I could drink it right away. Some people can. I like to let it sit. Some people can't. With keto chow, the longer you let it go, like if you let it go overnight, Ooh, it gets really thick. Flavor town. Okay? I find, you gotta make sure it's lid snap. Yeah. I find when you're not using keto chow, you absolutely have to let it sit because it doesn't have the milk protein in there, which I think helps to make it thicker. It doesn't have the acacia fiber in there. So I find you really do need to make it when you're using a quip or some of the other protein powders, you need to make it the day before to really get all that taste in. So this is gonna go in the refrigerator, but we do have one that we made yesterday. Yeah. And this is strawberry. 
Smells like strawberry. And we're gonna go ahead and give this a taste. I actually hate the sadus. I think that tastes better than the regular strawberry keto chow. This tastes really good. And I good. like the strawberry keto chow. This tastes really good though. Right, the strawberry flavor in the Equip comes through really well. But again, now I'm drinking an Equip protein wow. drink with all of the electrolytes, the vitamins and nutrients Getting I need, all the benefits. But I don't have any of the whey protein. So wow. I love it. This is to me, a quip and keto chow base powder is like a marriage made in heaven. Best it's of both perfect worlds. perfect together. I, we've tried the base powder with a lot of different wow. protein powders. And I honestly, I mean, again, not that it's because I love a quip. I don't think it tastes nearly as good with any other protein powder we've tried. No. Well, that's going to be our video. Let us know down in the comments if you've ever used the base powder. Let us know if you haven't used a quip with it, what protein powder did you try with the base powder? Yeah. And also now that you know about this, even if you do like keto chow, would you consider using this base powder to make some other flavors maybe the keto chow doesn't have using some maybe other kinds of protein powder? Yeah. Maybe even like an egg white protein powder. Maybe like know. a caramel macchiato. No, <laughs> just kidding. We already have one of those. There's a keto chow for that. So, well, that's gonna be today's video. <laughs> If you like seeing videos like this, check out some of the other videos that we have linked right over here. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm gonna put right over there. Whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time, bye. bye.